Here at Z1, we shoot and work. We don't get to close down this place. They got shit to do. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again. Spencer at Z1. Today we're going to come at you with something different. Today we've got for the 90 through 95 Z32 five speed, uh, the launch of our beta program for the EFI harness. <laughs> this is an uh, upgrade replacement EFI harness for uh, those five speed applications, whether it's non turbo or twin turbo. Won't matter if it's two seater, four seater, or vert. Um, I'm just not going to lie, we've been a big advocate of OE parts for a long time. Harness is something we've been working slowly on as we've seen uh, OE part numbers get discontinued. Um, as that has gotten worse, we have decided to ramp up uh, production in an effort to keep supporting the, the chassis. And uh, we are close to, I'd say, our standard market release. <clears throat> we've, uh, we've done a lot of things to the harness to get them the way we want it. And now we're at the point where we would like a little feedback from a bigger pool uh, outside the building and we want some feedback from other people. So now's your chance to get in on a great deal uh, with the beta program. How it's going to work is we will offer the harness at a $398 price tag. Uh, as a beta promotion, it will basically be if you can get the harness installed in the car within a set time, uh, 90 days, I think is what they'll have stamped on the listing uh, from order, and get feedback to us, whether it be hypercritical, you know, um, praise, uh, suggestive, you know, good, bad, indifferent. Uh, we want to hear it. It's the whole reason we're doing it. And we're going to credit $200 back uh, to you basically for the effort of taking part and getting in on it and getting it done and getting back with us, you know, for the deal. Okay. So, um, not sure how much more to try and get the community involved uh, to source minor refinements on this uh, in the place. Um, but, uh, but that's what we got going for you. So, now I'd like to mention some of the details. It had been a slow process. Um, you guys know we've been selling connectors, uh, I think really high quality stuff for a matter of years now. It's very uh, popular and something that uh, we've taken our time with. Some stuff was more challenging for us to secure the quality that we require to sell. Um, we're really big on that. So whether it be um, you know, an exact OE piece, uh, which most all the connectors are, or up to our standards, uh, that's what you're going to find in the harness. So some of the details on the harness, uh, I'll just go over here. We'll start from one end and go to the other. We're going to offer the harness <clears throat> for those 90 to 95 cars. We'll offer them in what's known as new style or old style, whether that be uh, new style crank angle sensor and new style injectors or old style crank angle sensor, old style injectors. We'll also be able to offer you a hybrid in between. Uh, we have enough call for it in the future you guys want to do something with like ID injectors or, or change like that we can potentially explore it uh, this is kind of the opening uh, dialogue for the community to get in with us on it um, but front to back let's just kind of go over some of the stuff uh, we use a uh, Tyco amp connector uh, on the ECU okay we're a little sad I couldn't get it blue but it is hidden under floorboards so uh, it is definitely still a quality piece it does have a cool feature over the factory that the bolt is replaceable so Every now and then we'll get one in, you'll see somebody went ham with an impact or something and broke one. Um, replaceable bolt, cool feature, okay? That's a plus in our book. Um, we do use um, AAVS and VSS wire, which is pretty much the same wire you'll find in a current off-the-shelf harness. The quality is very good. Um, we have uh, tried to break out from the body harness connection to a smaller connection to help get through the firewall, should it need uh, to get through during the install on car. What's up, man? Come on in. Uh, we've got our own molded boot. We had to go to market to have this done uh, in our own spec, okay? So uh, it is basically a factory repop, uh, but it is our own holy. We carry on with the heat shielding, try and prevent uh, you know premature wear damage to the exhaust. We keep factory locating tabs for the factory ring locks, okay, to hold the harness in place. Uh, grounds are maintained, you know, as good or superior to factory. We use all copper terminals there, all copper wire, you no know, aluminum wire in the harness. Um, all signal wires on dedicated sensors like temp sensors, knock sensors, 
airflow O2 sensors are single core shielded. Uh, you find a lot of single core shielded wire if you take down a harness all the way. It's not just on a knock sensor. We, a lot of people know that that's what's used on a knock sensor. We've had it. We had a ton made uh, initially for uh, knock sensor work, and then we offer it in bulk. Uh, but we also have that used all throughout our harness, okay? You can see it here, that's some of that stuff in orange, and that's single core spiral shielded wire. Not very common by today's production standards due to cost uh, as the most effective means, but it's a, like the period standard correct for the car, how it's designed, we've stayed with that, okay? Um, quality on our coil pack connectors you're gonna find are, you know, very good OE, and uh, discreetly tag some of those if you're not quite as familiar, hadn't done a ton of them, a little help there, uh, without it showing up uh, on the, loop of the harness like they do from factory we we like that a little better you still got uh, EGR you know PRVR support boost solenoids for the factory all supported you've got support for VTC knock sensors uh, as you'll find I mentioned before real big about uh, come on through it's cool <laughs> you'll find before that we got uh, blue uh, like the Sumitomo connector okay for for the idle control you know the yellow one specifically for the water temp right on the front of the engine not only is the quality better than this from any aftermarket we see you know and some folks may think we're splitting hairs but we just don't you know it's a good quality connector this is what Nissan uses today if you buy a new harness um, this is what they went to on early model harnesses these weren't weather pack sealed they just had a rubber boot on the back uh, so that, that that sensor or connector basically evolved, it, it got refined, and this is that up-to-date, current, basically superseded OE piece. It's even got, you know, the brand on it. So um, we're really happy about that. Uh, injector connectors, same thing. If you bought parts from us before, you know. They're all legit, great quality, uh, replaceable, interchange. It'll all maintain and look the same should you have to make a repair five, to, five years, ten years down the road because you, you know, broke one or something like that, okay? There's a couple of small standouts that we couldn't get exact. You know, I mentioned the ECU connector before. Uh, you know, I might as well mention, we got fuel temp on here. That one's pretty much right. We could not get that boot secured perfect like that gauge temp. Uh, it's not a sealed connection from the factory uh, on the Z. It is a single pole terminal. We want the best one we could find. Uh, but that's what's there. You can give us feedback on it still. Uh, if you find it, you know, we would like to know where so we can buy it and build it on the harness because we're that we're anal about it, I'm just going to say it. Um, but on all those pieces, all those early style connectors that have been updated to a retained lock, weather pack sealed, rear and internally, all of those parts will be updated and correct, okay? You won't have um, any additional, uh, as you might notice, there's other stuff on the market, it's reality. Um, folks out there, I think, to control their total investment in in inventory and costs like just kind of double down and they have extra connectors hanging off of them like some kind of tentacle monster uh, we're not doing that inventory costs be damned uh, we will have a good quality <clears throat> clean looking harness without extra stuff flopping off of it okay so no extra cranks uh, hanging you just tell us which one you have I don't expect you to put this in your 92 and then take it out and put it in your 95 just tell me what you need and we'll make it right for you uh, AC connector. Almost everybody has the early style AC connector, even if they've gone hybrid at this point. But some of the late model cars have a different, unique, new style connector, and we got a patch harness for that. Um, so rather than having two guys hanging off here, just discreetly down where the AC compressor is, you'll have a patch harness, okay? So uh, one of the other things, really nice, I used to do this all the time when I was building uh, cars in the back. First thing, right out of the gate, you know, brand new harness going in a car, I'm getting ready to drop the engine, hook it all up. I'm taking a razor to your $400, you know, $500 harness and relocating your PTU. It's this guy. And uh, we use only new style PTU connections, but we've gone ahead and done the legwork for you. So what that means is on the front of the engine, you can hook up to your crank angle, come on over to the center of the engine, get your coolant temps. You don't have to carry that harness all the way across with that PTU mounted on the front of the engine. It just looks gaudy, especially all these cars, you know, almost all of them got campaigned from the, the version 1 PTU to the updated version. They got that goofy patch harness that had this connector on it, and most of them have a new style PTU on it. <clears throat> that PTU uh, is the only one basically we support. Okay, We don't have it, so even our old, old style, you'll have to update to a new style PTU. Cool thing is, we've already separate loomed it, we've got it set up to go up front under the center panel, clean, cool area, uh, not you know, in the hot area where they were having heat susceptible failure problems anyways. If you've ever been in a Z that drove along just fine and then shut off on you, 
you know this problem. I've been there, side of the road, until it cools down. If you're lucky, crank up, come on back. Uh, if you want it in factory location, you can do it. You can tether it over and put it there, but otherwise we keep it nice. Come with it, come with the bracket. Uh, so we've got you available. New style parts there. Uh, old style parts, we can hybrid it. Old style cast, new style injector. Uh, whatever you guys need. Limited quantity. Get in on it. Stay motivated, get it knocked out. Get back with us. Uh, love mail, hate mail, you know. We're looking for feedback, we're asking for it. We're looking for constructive, good feedback. Uh, and there's, you know, money at the end for you on it. So, and we do feel like it's a good quality product. It's in the red car, beautiful red twins car. Everybody knows it. Dang. Mm, I do a little cool cutscene. And uh, you don't know it. Nope. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, great. We've got a handful of cars here on site, been running around for a while. We've made some small refinements that we've gone along. Now it's your turn. So, help us out. Check the site.